Okay, guys, another day, another Bitcoin chart, another Bitcoin update, huh? So, this is my Twitter. If you haven't followed me, please consider doing so. Here's my face. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I, I, it's, it's been a while that I don't use my webcam. My webcam was, it's kaput, <laughs> and I can't. Uh, and I in a head I haven't had time to buy another one. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna buy another one this weekend. I promise. So what's going on with Bitcoin, guys? Hmm. It seems that we a lot has happened, huh? Let's take a look at this chart. This is the daily chart. So we have finished yesterday with a spinning top, right? Cross, try to cross the the 100 EMA here. Yes, the 21 EMA. We tried, but we had we closed the day above it, but now we are below it. Yes, we are below it in the 100 EMA here. The yellow one is offering uh, is, is is a resistance now, right? We touched the 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 55. This is the 55 EMA, the red one. And we pulled back, okay. Mm, this is not looking good. Huh? So far, I would say that this scenario here starts to make sense. I present this scenario here, right? That would be like, what, uh, a continuation of this pattern here that we have, uh, okay? This would be a, like humps, one, two, three, for a smaller one getting smaller and smaller right as we have this wedge here now after we had that that sharp correction we are now going sideways like correct correcting in time so i don't know yeah uh, you have this right down two three then perhaps a four then a five, six, seven. Okay, I, I, I'm not even considering Elliott wave here. Uh, the Elliott wave principle. Uh, I, 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 if we start going down here, we challenged all those EMAs and we we break. Today is gonna be a crucial moment again. Yeah, yesterday, yesterday was crucial. Today is even more so. Because if we finish below this 55 EMA, oh gee, so this is gonna tell us a lot. You see that the 21 EMA here is starting to to bend down, to cross back. Okay, you see here, it's really clear that the, the, the 21 EMA is starting to bend, to cross the 100 EMA here. This is the yellow line here. So then we would have like a cross back here, a cross, then we would uh, would have just like three days of a, of a crossing this I don't like to call this a golden cross this is not a golden cross for me neither this is nor door nor is this one here okay those are cross uh, this is a, a lower EMA cross in a higher EMA but nevertheless I don't like to call them golden cross I just like to call the when the 55 EMA, when I'm sorry, the 100 or the 55 EMA crosses the 200, then I call it a, a golden cross because it's more definitive, tends to be more definitive. Okay, so we need to watch what's going on here, right? Because this is, looks like uh, that we are going down. Okay, as always, Bitcoin is trying to surprise us all. And that wouldn't be different, right? That wouldn't be different because this is what we expect the markets to do. You know, otherwise, it would be so easy to buy and so easy to sell that everyone wouldn't make nothing. <laughs> everyone, the market wouldn't be profit profitable at all. Yes, if it was so predictable. So this is the daily chart. So we we <clears throat> the bottom line here. We have closed the the 
we have closed the day yesterday we closed it above the 100 ma okay above we had this rejection two days right we have this spinning top but today we have this huge red candle so far so far we touched the 55 but we are trying to pull back let's see let's see how it goes okay this is the daily chart again we don't have a lot of uh, confidence to say that we are gonna bounce here out of this pattern again to challenge this yellow trend line here that I said and I continue saying that this is an important trend line right this might just be a, a, a bull trap here this region here okay okay this is the daily chart let's see the weekly chart yes finally right? the weekly chart we have a a huge candle here a huge huge head candle touched okay we, we we are now trying to get to the we try to get to the 55 EMA but we are having some rejection and we are having it's pulling back and we are now for the first time not for the first time but we were above it above this trend line this blue trend line but now we are trying to get again in this uh, inside of this pattern here that I've drawn okay interesting and we have this MACD here that is you see it's trying to, to cross but not really so we with indicators guys we we are never so sure that it's gonna be like cross and especially in higher time frames like weekly it's never so easy okay so that's what we have now okay um, so what about the our chart? Eh? This is this is my count, guys. The way I see it, the way I see it, is this was. I'm sorry. <clears throat> this was my count. This is this was this is my count, which is interesting because we we touched exactly what I what I, all those green targets we have touched it, and I we have I. It, this was my setup yesterday and it's still my setup because we haven't uh, get the stop loss my stop loss was was east 7195 okay we haven't touched it okay um, what is what is the problem is that we are lingering here okay we, we if I we touch the 50 percent okay the 50% retracement is here for a fourth wave it's okay it's nice beautiful okay but what's the problem I don't see any reaction why would we linger here if this is the end of the fifth wave why would we we stop here and like indecision just now that we have a lot of a uh, if this is the pattern right if this is what's happening we have an abc why why would why would it take so long for any kind of reaction out of this so i just i'm i start to question it okay perhaps we have one more leg down here because i i'm not counting but this this seems like a one two uh, this would be a three four five inside of this last fifth wave yes so let's count it together though sorry this is my stop loss line let's count it together okay okay just just to talk just to to remind you guys this is the 38 to 20 percent of the fib retracement from the swing from the low to the highest point here okay three two where I labeled my two to my tree here but here we have the fib retracements okay 6.8 65 50 percent here is the sweet spot for our wave 4 38 20 we crossed it really easy so it this region here would be the best region the sweet spot for wave 4 okay and now we have this 
this this would be a, our last wave if indeed this is the right count what what is interesting is that we have a pattern here of a falling wedge don't we let's see i'm not so not a, let me see oh, let me draw it like here right it's better it's, be, it's better if we draw it over here yes we have this line here I'm not counting weeks, okay. Um, and then we have this one here, right? We have this, it's clear, really clear that we don't have a lot of space. If you consider this pattern, I'm sorry, that uh, this is. Uh, uh, another trend line that I'm gonna label it uh, uh, blue and let me this okay <clears throat> okay so uh, this is what we have right if we have this if this is the count we have one more leg down according to this to this pattern according to everything so we would have like a long week here trying to pierce the 50 percent okay trying to trying to and this would be a, a, a bullish count, right? Because this would mean that we would have our f fifth wave. Not a bullish count, because as you know, I I am not confident that we finished this, this correction. Not yet, but we would uh, finish this first wave here, okay? This whole thing here would finish this wave here. This first wave would be like here, something like here. Okay, weird, but because if you see at the daily chart, you, you, you understand that you have a one wave, two, three, four, five, yeah. But at the one hour chart, you see something different, something rather different, not so much, but uh, if you count it here, you're gonna see that uh, if you, if you have been watching me, I have been through this process. I have changed this count so much because it's not easy to accept that this is a one, okay? And this is a two. It's a it's such a sharp correction here that doesn't look like a two. Nevertheless, I think that we, this is what we have. This is a three and a four, and then we are gonna have a five. And this is my setup. As I said yesterday, this is so easy. For me because it's a tight stop loss okay if i'm wrong i'm not gonna lose money okay not a lot and i uh, the upside is that i have a seven risk reward ratio okay why i'm not targeting here because i'm gonna be conservative okay waves five can be truncated okay let me take this out because this is old information this is all the information okay um all those green lines as well uh they have been read okay this is nice okay those are my targets i, I so i am uh, now waiting for it and uh i have my position in place if for some reason it just goes down i'm gonna be happy if it hits the stop loss okay fine i'm gonna put my stop loss a bit lower because come on right uh I, we have the the this the tip of the the apex of this falling edge here so i'm gonna put a little bit lower yeah? but still we have a six okay risk reward ratio yeah so we need to wait okay if we count I said that we would count the, the waves inside of this fifth wave. Yes. Inside of this fifth wave of the fifth wave to finish this C. It's pretty clear that we have one more leg. Yes. So this is a one, two. Then we have a three, four, five. It's clear, but let's measure it. I'm going to first label it. I'm going to use a really... Let's see, I'm gonna use the, the minuscule just to 
it's not correct. We, we should always, uh, it's not 100% correct to use uh, minuscule like this, but as we are in a such lower degree, one hour inside of, within a wave five of a C, I'm gonna use a minuscule, okay? Allow me for that. Two, three. This is a clear tree here, right? We are gonna measure, okay, guys? We're gonna measure. It would be that, yeah, this is an ABC, you see? Then it would have a C here. Try breaking this 50%, you see? Let's measure now, right? Let's see what we have. First, I would like to, to see if this wave tree is long enough. Sure, it's long like hell, huh? If we have this, this is, if, if we consider this as a one wave, which I think we, we would need to go to uh, 30 minutes. Oh, yes, 30 minutes. This is a one. One, two. Yeah. It's interesting, isn't it? Because what we have here, this is a one or this is a one, two. Let, let, let's measure and we're gonna have our answer, right? If you allow this, yes. Then we have 100% of the one here, but then this this would imply that we would go lower, way lower. If we have a one here, two here, this would be the three, but yes. Perhaps, right? Perhaps. We don't, as always, we, in those, uh, when we go to such a lower degrees, it's difficult to, to count a one. And uh, the problem is that we have such a, we have a deep two here, but it, it, it's definitely going, I don't need to measure, but it's definitely, it's valid. Yeah? It's not touching the, the beginning of, one it's 80 80 70 percent probably and we have this one again this is a clear one two three four five for our three four a b c let's measure this four the the the, the retracement follow this for okay see here we have that four can really touch the 30 20 percent it's go it, it might go higher uh to this line here that i propose to be uh seven for seven four hundred this line here this yellow line i i established as a a strong it was a strong resistance because we tried 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 this was the 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 end of this wave three here okay so this wave four here can go as high as 30 20 percent it, and it's, it seems to be to be going up right to this yellow line here nice and then we have this fifth wave this fifth wave this this minus 33 60 percent is one target here is one target remember the wave four can go as high as this okay as this 50% here, if we are considering that this is a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, okay. Okay, so this is... Uh, oh, this is my count for the... for this lower degree, wave 5, okay. Why I am not measuring exactly the one projecting to two and three? Because it's a it's such a huge, huge extension. Okay, huge extension. We have. Um, I am considering that if we have a one two here, this would be need to go really really lower than this pattern suggests. So sometimes we need to to limit the 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 not to limit but to to bring together different different TA techniques to talk with each other and to make sense of what's happening here. So this pattern show us that if if we are going this low here, 
it's uh, it would be like trying to get to this apex here okay and then it would have a reaction a strong reaction upwards okay and this this is why i think this is that was a one two now we are finishing this four yeah this four here to 50 percent perhaps would be 7400 and then we would go down again then we would have a a pierced tree yeah some weeks here trying to pierce uh, out of this pattern here and then we would go down okay yeah we have one more leg then yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna be really conservative about my stop loss i'm gonna try to to not be fooled by this let me put the c here and uh, I'm, not, I'm gonna try not to be fooled by this pattern and uh end up like seeking the low right no i'm gonna place my stop loss here and if it gets stopped okay it's a it's a risk for us right it's always a it's it's always risky um what could be a different okay so let's talk about what if we don't have uh what if we, this is not a one two three four five going down and abc correcting for this third wave but what if this is a whole structure corrective a corrective structure of this wave going down here and just we are going just down again okay this is just the beginning of this is, would be a wave one we would finish here a wave one then we would have a wave two three four five okay what if because this is the scenario that that I have proposed here, right? That we might go down. We might. We might go down one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we might have another pattern just like this. A zigzag, probably, right? A, B, C. Okay, so what we should do? What how how should we pre how should we be prepared for it? First of all, we need to have this stop loss here, okay? I, I believe we have plenty of, uh, of bulls here to push this thing f upwards. They, they want it, okay? But if I'm wrong, if this is wrong, if this count is wrong, okay? Then you need to, when you get stopped here, what you need to do? You need to label this as a one. We need to label this whole structure as a one and then you're gonna wait for the wave two okay let's me let me draw it for you guys with this thing here uh, this would be our, our one okay one then you're gonna have a two you're gonna have a retracement that's the thing two then you're gonna have a three that's gonna be the longest probably challenging this this dotted yellow line here that is the that is our lowest low of the year then again retracement and then another low okay if if we have this right this is the lowest low of the year okay we have a double bottom here not really on pit stamp we had a, a a lower low here but nevertheless it's it's, it's another story i have I have discussed about it yet already i have discussed about it yet i have already discussed about it sorry <laughs> so it's simple uh, we wh what would happen we would have a a, a a significant lower price here let's see let's it, it, it this support here that was a, a a strong resistance remember we tried for the whole june for july we tried to pierce through this resistance here we were below it okay now imagine that we go down here to this region here okay I, i'm gonna reconsider a lot of things this could be a two as well but this a b c the c would be really extended okay yeah so i'm gonna start to mm, i'm gonna start thinking about a bearish count as a, as my primary count okay imagine that we go to this previous previous resistance now is at support and then we have a, a, a pullback 
okay and then we see that this line here this blue line here act as a, as a resistance then we won't go up I would start leathering my shorts here okay and then I would I would do the same thing I would leather my shorts here and I would target my stop loss a bit higher because if we break this blue line here this blue line line here has been acting as support as sorry as a resistance you see we tried 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 so it's it is significant so I'm gonna target above it my stop loss and then I would short it start lettering here after we confirm that we have a new low here okay we broke out of this this falling edge here but we broke down imagine this and what what we're gonna do what I am gonna do I'm not gonna start shorting here here or selling like FOMOing okay no that's that's the wrong thing to do you wait for it okay I got stopped here so I'm gonna wait I'm gonna wait for this retracement because we need it's it's what happens some sort of retracement we need here I don't, I, I'm, I'm not suggesting that this is exactly what's gonna happen we're gonna have a perfect retracement like this but I will start looking for some retracement to start shorting and then I of course the other indicators I'm gonna look for them to see what's going on and then I will short it and wait for this wave down if this does if if this wave three here doesn't happen I will be, I will get stopped here and then this is another and then we wait for another day another setup for us to start shorting or longing okay it's simple one uh, you have one idea and you keep you are consistent with it you you keep this idea and you have a tight stop loss and you play it if it doesn't work okay next day next day if you are in a profit you take your profit and then you start planning again my style it's my style is like this I, I, I plan more than I trade the more you are exposed to the market guys the more <laughs> the more you are at the risk of losing everything okay and um, just a, a quick remark okay EOS if you follow me on Twitter you see that uh, I posted uh, this is my EOS chart my setup for the EOS we have a really nice setup I said this yesterday again the same thing okay we are uh, we had a lot of this is even better than Bitcoin because what we have here is that it's so easy to <laughs> to invalidate this count and yet we 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 we, we haven't not yet we are sitting on the 80 80 70 percent for our wave two and here's my top my stop loss but if I get this wave up if it goes up I'm gonna have a really nice profit okay I, I, I start considering minus 30 to 60 percent a 10 risk reward ratio okay and you have all those higher high, higher lows here at the RS at the RSI and the at the CMF it's an indicator and of course in the MACD so we have a, a divergence here a bullish divergence okay it's an indication that we are gonna go higher I think market surprises us all all the time but this is what we have guys okay um another another just I would like to I would like to give you guys one piece of device about trading guys you don't have uh, years ago if you want to stop uh, watching the video now it's <laughs> it's a good time because I'm gonna talk about something completely different this is a this is a piece of device from a guy that has been since 2014 trading not trading let's be honest not trading but I have been buying <laughs> and selling uh, crypto since 2014 and I have been seeing a lot of different things 
in 2014, what was the, the, the hype about crypto? It was mining. Okay, mining. Mining was the thing. Mining, everyone was talking about mining. Everyone was so confident that mining would be the, the, the gold mine. <laughs> exactly, right? <laughs> Uh, mining was so profitable. Oh, I'm gonna get a, 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 a I'm gonna invest in mining. I'm gonna, you know, uh, I'm. Oh Jesus, I'm sorry. I, I, this was me trying to to get my cat out of the computer. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> my little kitty. Um, so mining was the the golden mine. <laughs> The people were so crazy about it, trying to to get everything out of it. And of course, as always, what we have is we have scammers. We have people taking advantage of it. We had back then we had uh, so many companies selling mining contracts. So many companies. They were like promising everything. And where are those? Where are those companies now, guys? We just have one, okay? Genesis Mining, okay? We just have one, and it's not profitable. No, it's not profitable at all. And we don't have proof that they are, they, 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 that they are real, that they are not a Ponzi scheme or something. So what, why I'm talking about, what I'm talking about here is that the thing of uh, nowadays, what we have, is the same thing happening for trading. Now we have a lot of people saying, oh, we have this indicator, that indicator, trading is so easy to make money, you go and you just need to, you just need to uh, do exactly what I'm doing and then you're gonna be rich. Guys, the market is not like that. Forex, the stock markets, they have experienced the same thing. We have people selling indicators for a long time. And if you go and look what are their opinions, if you, if you ask someone like an uh, 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 old trader, okay, ask, a, ask about indicators. Oh, are, you really, are there indicators that are really magical or that, that they are going to give you a guy, that, that indicators that are going to give me an opportunity of buying or selling that's going to be higher than chance. Those guys, they're going to say no, because there's no such a thing. The new way of, of uh, fooling people now is selling indicators, selling strategies to make trading easier. Guys, if you trade like this, if you know, if you have knowledge about the market, and if you have knowledge about TA, this means that if you have knowledge about the market, TA and everything, it's difficult. If you trust in a, if you trust an indicator, and you think that the indicator is gonna do the job for you, this is like, this is a recipe for disaster for losing money okay just it if you buy an indicator if you enter in a group because of indicator this is not correct okay not correct at all you won't make money guys this is uh, 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 uh this is uh, this is this and, and the problem is that this is not illegal you're selling a product but that's the thing this is a, a product that is it is that's proven to be false that's proven to be to not work proven by statistics okay not by me but the statistics you, you go out and check and they are gonna sell you no but i have proof i have proof here that this works this doesn't that i give you whatever guy that show shows me statistics and data about whatever indicator you have I give you guys, I give you guy, I, I, I propose a challenge here. If you have an indicator that is better than chance, I give you guy, I, I give you $10,000. This is a challenge, open challenge for you. If you have an indicator that is better than chance and that proves itself to be reliable in one year, 
let's say this because I need more I need time uh, you need uh, because I, I want this indicator to to fall into the regression to the mean kind of thing I want it to regret to to have time to to prove that it's not higher than than chance that's what I want because if you just buy the coins okay I'm sorry I'm blabbering about it and I'm not, I'm not being clear enough if you have an indicator that's my challenge if I, if you have an indicator that is better than chance send me a message okay give me proof and if you are right I'm gonna give you ten thousand dollars that's it okay that's my challenge I'm talking about an indicator not uh, an algorithmic uh, high frequency trading but an algo uh, uh, indicator okay because now indicators they are like a, a bot they think that the people are buying it like as if they were a bot but they if you if, if you make money with a bot you don't sell it you have plenty of bots on the, on the market I, I would say that 90 percent of the bots I'm sorry 90 percent of the the market <laughs> are bot trading algorithmic trading but they are not this is but they are not indicators they are bots trading and if you have a good bot you don't sell it it's obvious you if you have a good bot you make money with it if you are selling something guys it's because selling it it's gonna make you more money than using it basic it's logical okay that's it guys for today you have two nice setups uh give my uh, think about my 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 advice it's important don't get fooled by people don't get fooled you have a lot of people out there trying to sell you guys things that are not really working the, the things that are just uh that seems to be working okay it's so easy to get fooled so easy so easy Thanks for watching, guys. As always, I am here for you guys. Um, I'm giving you guys free content. If you want to ask me questions, if you want me to talk about something different, you can always propose. I am open for feedbacks. And as always, enjoy what you're doing. Enjoy your trades. Okay, guys. Thanks again. <laughs> and I see you guys later. Cheers.